From the icy arctic to the balmy tropics, few creatures are as ubiquitous as charming as the humble duck. These feathered denizens of our waterways, with their waddling gaits and melodious quacks, are a familiar sight to many. In this exploration, we embark on a voyage of discovery, delving into the captivating life cycle of a duck. From the moment a fragile egg is laid, to the duckling's first unsteady steps, to the majesty of an adult duck in flight, we'll witness the remarkable transformations that unfold. Our story begins with a promise, a delicate yet powerful promise of new life. A spark of life nestled within the smooth protective shell of a duck egg, waiting to emerge. This egg, seemingly simple, is a marvel of nature's design. Laid in a carefully constructed nest, often hidden amongst reeds or tucked away in a secluded hollow, it is a sanctuary. These eggs represent the continuation of a lineage stretching back millennia, a testament to survival and adaptation. Ducks, unlike many other birds, tend to lay a sizable clutch, ensuring the survival of their species. With between 5 and 12 eggs, each a testament to the mother duck's dedication and instinctual care. The eggs themselves are marvels of natural engineering, porous to allow for the exchange of gases, yet strong enough to withstand the weight of the incubating parent. This delicate balance ensures the developing life inside is protected and nurtured. For around 28 days depending on the species, the mother duck diligently warms the eggs with her body heat, providing the perfect environment for growth. She turns them regularly to ensure even development, a crucial task for the health of the embryos. Within the egg, a symphony of life is underway, a complex dance of cells and nutrients. The yolk, a rich source of nutrients, sustains the developing embryo, providing all it needs to grow. Meanwhile, a network of blood vessels transports vital oxygen, ensuring the embryo's survival. Slowly but surely, the duckling takes shape, its tiny heart beating steadily, its wings and legs beginning to form. Each day brings new developments as the duckling grows stronger and more defined. As the days turn into weeks, the sounds of life from within the eggs grow stronger, a sign of the vibrant life soon to emerge. After weeks of patient incubation, the mother duck has diligently kept her eggs warm and safe, turning them regularly to ensure even development. Finally, the moment of hatching arrives, a highly anticipated event in the life cycle of these birds. This moment is fraught with peril, as the ducklings must exert a tremendous amount of effort to break free from their shells, yet it is also overflowing with the promise of new life and the continuation of their species. The ducklings, now fully formed and eager to enter the world, begin the arduous task of breaking free from their eggs. This process is not easy, it requires persistence and strength, they peck and peck, slowly making progress. Nature, ever resourceful, has equipped them with a specialized tool for this very purpose, the egg tooth. Located on the tip of their beaks, this sharp temporary structure acts as a tiny pickaxe, allowing the ducklings to chip away at their eggshells from within. This tool is crucial for their survival. The process, known as pipping, is a slow and laborious one. The duckling, working tirelessly, must first break through the inner membrane of the egg before it can even begin to tackle the hard outer shell. Tiny cracks appear, spreading like a spiderweb across the surface of the egg, as the duckling continues its struggle. The duckling must summon all its strength to break through the inner membrane and then the outer shell. As the cracks spread the duckling's determination is evident. Each peck brings it closer to freedom. The cracks spread like a spiderweb across the surface of the egg, a testament to the duckling's relentless effort. As the duckling continues its struggle, it makes slow but steady progress. Finally, with a mighty push, the duckling breaks free, emerging wet, exhausted, but triumphant. The world greets them with a rush of new sights, sounds and smells, a far cry from the confines of their eggs. The newly hatched ducklings, still wet behind the ears, are a picture of vulnerability. Not all ducklings hatch at the same time. The hatching process can take several hours, even a full day, with each duckling emerging at its own pace. Some are quicker, while others take their time. The newly hatched ducklings, still wet behind the ears, are a picture of vulnerability. They must quickly adapt to their new environment, learning to navigate the world outside their eggs. The newly hatched ducklings, still wet behind the ears, are a picture of vulnerability. They must quickly adapt to their new environment, learning to navigate the world outside their eggs. The first few weeks of a duckling's life are a whirlwind of activity, a crash course in survival guided by the watchful eye of their mother. 
From the moment they hatch, these tiny creatures are thrust into a world full of challenges and learning opportunities. Covered in fluffy down, their tiny bodies are remarkably well adapted to their watery world. This down is not just for show, it serves a critical function in their early development. One of the first and most crucial lessons a duckling learns is the art of thermoregulation. This skill is vital for their survival, especially in the unpredictable weather conditions they often face. Their downy feathers, while not yet waterproof, provide excellent insulation, trapping a layer of air close to their bodies to keep them warm. This natural insulation is their first line of defense against the cold. Trapping air in their down feathers is a clever adaptation that allows them to maintain their body temperature even in chilly waters. The mother duck, however, plays a vital role in keeping her brood safe from the elements. Her presence is a constant source of warmth and protection. She will often gather her ducklings beneath her wings, creating a warm and secure haven from the cold or rain. This behavior not only keeps them warm, but also strengthens the bond between mother and ducklings. Creating a warm and secure haven from the cold or rain is essential for their well-being. The mother duck's protective instincts are crucial during these early stages. Ducklings are naturally drawn to water, their instincts urging them towards the safety and sustenance it provides. Water is their playground and their classroom, their instincts urging them towards the safety and sustenance it provides. They quickly learn to navigate their aquatic environment, finding food and avoiding potential dangers. Within hours of hatching they are already paddling about, their webbed feet propelling them through the water with surprising agility. This early exposure to water is crucial for their development. Their webbed feet propelling them through the water with surprising agility. These early swims help them build strength and coordination. These early swims are not just about fun and games, they are essential for survival. Swimming helps them develop the skills they will need to thrive in their watery habitat. They are essential for survival. As they grow, their downy feathers are gradually replaced by waterproof plumage, allowing them to dive and forage for food with even greater efficiency. As they grow, their downy feathers are gradually replaced by waterproof plumage. This transformation is a key milestone in their development, allowing them to dive and forage for food with even greater efficiency. With their new feathers, they become more adept at surviving in their aquatic world, ready to face the challenges ahead. Chapter 4, Finding Their Wings, The Juvenile Stage As the weeks turn into months, the ducklings undergo a remarkable transformation, shedding their downy feathers and taking on the appearance of miniature adults. Their juvenile plumage, while not as vibrant as their adult counterparts, provides them with the camouflage they need to avoid predators. This period marks a time of increasing independence for the young ducks. They are now strong swimmers, capable of diving and foraging for food on their own. Their wings, once small and underdeveloped, have grown strong, and they begin to experiment with short flights, testing their newfound abilities. The mother duck, while still watchful, gradually allows her offspring more freedom, encouraging them to explore their surroundings and hone their survival skills. They form small flocks with other juveniles, learning to interact with their peers and establish their place within the group. This period of adolescence is a crucial one for young ducks. Chapter 5 Full Circle – The Adult Duck By the time they reach adulthood, ducks have transformed into the elegant and resourceful creatures we know so well. Their plumage, now fully developed, is a symphony of color and pattern, a testament to the power of natural selection. For many species, the drab browns and tans of their juvenile feathers have given way to vibrant greens, iridescent blues and rich chestnut hues. These striking colors play a crucial role in courtship displays, allowing ducks to attract mates and ensure the continuation of their lineage. Adult ducks are masters of their environment, equally at home on the water as they are in the air. Their powerful wings allow them to cover vast distances, migrating thousands of miles each year to find suitable breeding grounds or escape harsh winters. They have also honed their social skills, forming complex hierarchies within their flocks and communicating with each other through a variety of quacks, whistles, and body language. Adult ducks play a crucial role in maintaining the delicate balance of their ecosystems. Chapter 6. More Than Meets the Eye. Ducks' Role in Ecosystems. While we often admire ducks for their beauty and grace, it's easy to overlook the crucial role they play in maintaining healthy ecosystems. These feathered wonders are far more than just pretty faces, they are integral threads in the intricate web of life. Ducks are voracious insectivores, consuming vast quantities of mosquitoes, flies and other invertebrates, many of which can be pests to humans or crops. 
By keeping these populations in check, ducks contribute to a more balanced ecosystem. Their feeding habits also provide a vital service to wetland environments. As they dabble and dive for food, ducks stir up sediment and distribute nutrients, promoting the growth of aquatic plants and supporting a diverse range of invertebrates. Furthermore, ducks are unwitting gardeners, playing a crucial role in seed dispersal. Their presence or absence can even be an indicator of an ecosystem's health. Chapter 7. Did you know? Fun facts about ducks. Now that we've explored the intricacies of the duck life cycle and their ecological significance, let's delve into some fascinating trivia about these quirky creatures. Did you know that not all ducks quack? While the iconic quack is common to many species, others boast a more diverse vocal repertoire. Widgeons, for example, are known for their whistling calls, while pintails emit a soft, flute-like sound. Male ducks are generally referred to as drakes, while females are called hens. Baby ducks, as we know, are ducklings, but they can also be called ducklings regardless of their sex. Some duck species are incredibly strong flyers. The northern pintail, for instance, holds the record for the longest migration of any waterfowl, undertaking journeys of over 18,000 miles each year. Ever noticed how a duck's feathers seem to repel water effortlessly? This is due to a special oil produced by a gland near the base of their tail. Ducks meticulously spread this oil over their feathers during preening, ensuring they stay dry and buoyant. A legacy in every feather. From the fragility of an egg to the mastery of flight, the duck life cycle is a testament to nature's enduring power and beauty. We've witnessed the determination of ducklings taking their first swim, the unwavering dedication of a mother duck, and the vital role these creatures play in maintaining the delicate balance of our ecosystems. So, the next time you encounter a flock of ducks, take a moment to observe them, to appreciate their unique behaviors and the vital role they play in our world. Let's continue to learn from and appreciate these remarkable creatures, ensuring that their legacy continues for generations to come.